started working here in 2006 as a volunteer. But we had cases of GBV very high. By then, there was no even an NGO directly to handle GBV. Dokolo district people were murdering each other because we have been here in the north. People are traumatized. You know, we hold pangas, we hold anything to fight. I'm a woman, yes, I'm a Langi by trade. I'm also a warrior, you know. That is our nature. We want a society where democratic values and social justice are respected. Our mission is that the community members out there, they are sensitized that they have rights as workers and that their rights ought to be respected. Okay, So our mission is to ensure that their rights are promoted and respected in the communities where they work. As Platform for Labour Action, we believe through awareness we are able to empower the persons we are sensitizing. Once the child knows that I have a right to go to school, I have a right to stay in school. Going to school is one thing, staying in school is the other. So once the child knows their rights, they are able to, in case she feels she's being tortured, her right is being violated. Platform for Labour Action gives them places where they can run to for redress. We work with stakeholders in communities, for example, the government officials, to influence the poli their policies, favouring the workers. Uh, we work with the, the police, that when they bring cases of that nature, they, they are able to know this is a case, labor-related matter. They are able to refer them to us in order to help them. They teach us, they share with us what they have. We tell them our challenges, how far we have gone and how far they have gone. Then as we are doing community policing or as we are attending to our clients, we pass over the very information we have got from them. Because it is like an interaction of us and the PRA. So we end up at least speaking, and as we are for community policy, we address the issues raised by PROA. And again, we give them the feedback. As a department, yeah, we, our visibility has been in partnership with organizations that are, work, are working to champion the case of, of the workers. We are particularly grateful for Platform for Labour Action in helping the workers who do not have a voice, being a voice. My work as a human rights advocate is uh, to go to community, sensitize people, Making their, creating awareness on uh, rights and responsibilities of workers, domestic violence issue, the land dispute matters, child labor, and uh, many other things. Their impact is very high. It's being felt in Dokolo district, especially in my area as town council. Because uh, when cases are handled on the ground, it is these advocates, human rights advocates, trained by the PLA. They normally report these cases to me or they even refer. When they are referred, they come straight with us, letters from the human rights advocates, and I handle them. The ones that I cannot handle, I also refer. He has had me more knowledge now to be someone who can understand things like uh, handling the cases. I know a way of counseling somebody and the way of handling the somebody who has a problem. There is a day I met a, a lady working in the hotel. She called me and she told me there is a, a person, a man, 
who borrowed the money, 300 thousand. But she tried to help C1, no way help. She went to the police. She has been hearing people talking of Lucy, Lucy who worked with some of the NGOs. There's a lot of sensitization in the communities in the district through community development officers with the assistance of the platform for the action. And uh, people are becoming aware. When you know that if I don't get salary, where do I go to? If uh, somebody is taking up my land, where do I report? So people now know to some extent their rights. They are seasonal, because like now it's time for going to school. We receive very many cases of child neglect. Then when it comes time for harvesting and planting, it's when domestic violence comes in, economic violence. There is usually misunderstandings between women and their husbands on who to share what has been harvested. I had the knowledge about uh, my husband as in getting involved in uh, relationship. From August up to the time I caught them red-handed on the bed, I, he could not come home in fact. Even the basic needs that he used to provide, he could not now, he wasn't doing all that. I met a friend of mine. She told me, Sarah, where are you going? I told her I'm going to the police station, that what is the matter? I narrated to her the story, then she told me, why don't you get some of these advocates? Is it for platform for labor action? The next day, I organized myself. I went up to Emat Lucy's home and I narrated to her the story that was so hurting in my life. She came up to my place here. The first thing she did she asked my problem, where my problem is. She asked the man where uh, his problem is and the weaknesses. We all vomited out everything. Then afterwards, she started counseling the two of us. So after Madame Lucy counseling us, we became very happy. We came back together. To my surprise, she didn't only stop there that very day. She could check on, her, on us after every one week. Uh, people are becoming aware of how to solve some of these gender-based uh, violences. We have engaged the police, we have engaged the communities, we have engaged the health centers and the medical workers. They are all on board. So <laughs> it is uh, something that uh, I've worked in a number of districts, but I had not found it there. So I, I find it here, which I think is a very good. Before, I had a lot of problems with uh, domestic violence in this area. I, I, even the land wrangles, we had a lot of problems. Now, when the platform for labor action came in, it has now reduced. We are now a bit free. Two, it again helps us in children knowing how to handle the land, the family land. But it has reduced on the crime rate. Those before we used it to receive very many cases, family related. But at least now, the ones we receive, they are just few. Once we have a peaceful community, where they can resolve there are differences through established channels, through the law, then we know we are doing something for these people. And certainly development will come. They'll spend more time in their gardens looking after the animals than 
fighting in the communities which doesn't bring development at all. We need a peaceful dialogue.